Last time we covered the Invoked Engine, and I think it's a nice touch to do the other half of the World 2017 Top 4 deck which Michael Forner piloted during the event. Wind Witches are a series of wind attribute Spellcast-type monsters used by Rin in the Arc 5 anime. The cards were released in the Raging Tempest back in February 2017 quickly became irrelevant. The most used variants included the Invoked and Speedroid. The engine, just like Invoked, was never hit on the balance in the TCG, however Wind Witch Ice Bell was semi-limited on the October 2017 CG ban list and released from it in the July 2018 iteration. That was the last time the engine was touched when it comes to the ban list. Wind Witch is specialized in Synchro Summon. The engine provides an easy way to bring out a level 8 Synchro Monster to the field. However, due to the restrictions of the cards, those Synchro Monsters can only be of the Wind Attribute. That lineup still has some noteworthy cards like Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, High Speedroid Kite Drake, and Battle Wasp Hama the Conquering Bow. Before I go into the details of how the engine works, let's look at the pieces. Starting with Ice Bell. This is the card that makes the deck going. Her effect allows her to be easily summoned directly from the hand, not to mention that she can bring out a Wind Witch monster from the deck. Too bad she used tricks to summons from the extra deck to level 5 or higher Wind Monsters though. Her burning effect is irrelevant to the capabilities of the engine, but it's still a nice bonus. Glass Bell is the Wind Witch most commonly summoned from Ice Bell's effect. She can search out the entire engine on summon but locks the player into wind monsters. Snowbell is the last main deck monster of the engine. The fact that it can be special summoned from the hand and that the synchro monster summoned using it as material cannot be destroyed by card effect makes it a very interesting card. Still, it's not something you want to draw into. Winterbell is the synchro monster of the Ash type. It's not the mandatory part of the engine, it can be easily replaced by any level 7 wind synchro. I just included this card due to its ability to deal 800 points of additional burn damage to the opponent. With this, the engine is able to deal 1300 burn damage and summon a powerful synchro monster on the field. As always, the build is quite straightforward with 3 copies of Ice Bell, 1 or 2 copies of Glass Bell, 1 Snow Bell, and 1 level 7 Wind Synchro Monster, and 1 level 8 Wind Synchro Monster. Like mentioned previously, the engine provides a player with a level 8 Synchro Monster, usually Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, which cannot be destroyed by car effects and all of that without the use of a normal summon. Oh, yeah. And it also burns. When it comes to cons of the engine, it's mostly the fact that it locks the player into wind monsters only. Not to mention that all extra deck summons for that turn can only be level 5 or higher wind monsters, meaning no links or exceeds. When it comes to the usage, the engine is best used in wind decks. No shit, Sherlock! When it comes to specific decks, the first that comes to my mind are those mentioned earlier as Speedways and Invoked. The engine can also be used in Magic Spectres and even Harpies, the latter specifically due to the new Synchro Monster announced recently. And that would be it, nothing more to add here. Thank you everyone for watching, should this type of content interest you, leave a comment or a like, or maybe both. See you next time with some dark replays. Bye bye!